Hello, welcome back to another GTA Online customization. Uh, so the hot ring came out, or a hot ring, uh, I just forgot the name of this dang thing, uh, just came out today. It is the hot ring Eberron. I, it's just, it's, it messes with my head. Uh, just came out today, they just released it. It's only on limited release. Once again, Rockstar, stop doing that. Um, and they're, they're not going to, because it's, people are like, oh, I gotta have it. If I don't have, if I don't buy it this week, I'll never get the new car. It's just freaking FOMO garbage. Like, it's, you know, so it is what it is. Um, so I, I do things, try to get the cars as soon as I can so that uh, I can do customizations for you. Uh, as long with, uh, along with uh, lots of other people on the internet. Um, for those that are coming in and, and watching the uh, customization videos, I do really like it. Uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, I've been driving the car around a little bit during uh, the Newswire uh, video I filmed. Uh, and then, so, uh, we're doing about 120. The car is very stable, uh, as you would hope it would be in, uh, you know, basically a stock car type racing type game. Um, the one complaint I have with it so far is that, uh, you don't climb in through the window, which makes me sad. I understand why we don't, but it still makes me sad. So we're, it's, according to the speedo, we're doing about 125 and we're just cooking and the car is stable it's not twitchy like some of the other ones especially the uh the supercars and stuff we've had uh we, we've had they're, they're very twitchy uh and they're not they they're very easy to upset and get them to start sliding and i hit help half the cars i've driven in the past couple of weeks i would have already wrecked like four or five times and this thing is just like nope i'm i'm 125 and i'm just freaking cruising the brakes, the brakes are, uh, <laughs> the brakes are special. And they just, it just seems like they just lock up and just, it just slide for a minute. It, it does stop rather quickly. Um, but it is, uh, it is a cool car. Even the, uh, the, uh, Raga Rum, uh, is, is, uh, interesting. We'll, uh, look and see what the other ones look like when we get there. So uh, I changed it up. So I, I start in the uh, the county. We drive down. We come to this this one instead of going to the one in the county. Uh, this this uh, LS Customs is better lit. It's easier to see the back of the car. Uh, see some of the changes we make. Um, so so we'll go ahead and repair our vehicle. I'm gonna start with a respray. So we're gonna change our primary color to metallic. We are gonna change it to uh, bright purple. Uh, so it's very easy to see <laughs> when we have that, uh, or not bright purple, we'll, we're going to change it to midnight purple. I like midnight purple better. Uh, it's the midnight purple with a with a, a bright purple pearlescent over it, uh, which which always works. Makes me happy. Uh, metallic, uh, we're going to go with uh, frost white, so that will change all your pipes. Uh, it looks like some little parts there on the back of your wheels there also. Like, uh, so there's little parts on the that side skirt there that's changed also. So we'll change those to frost white. The crew emblem, just right in the middle of the door. It's actually a fairly large crew emblem in the middle of the door. Obviously, it doesn't work putting the crew emblem over our, uh, our number there. All right, so with that, let's go back up to the top here. Uh, armor, as always. Uh, brakes. Uh, we're going to upgrade our brakes all the way. Engine, we're going to upgrade our engine all the way. Explosives, uh, we'll pass on those now. Lights, uh, the lights do definitely look like a sticker. Uh, there are no lights on it. <laughs> that's that's going to make it complicated. All right, so this is the ragged rum that it comes if you pick it up in the showroom right now. You have the power metal. Uh, that is none, so it's just basically the, uh, and then, oh, it looked like the, the bottom of it is painted white. So the reason the side skirts were, were flashing, the uh, color is because those are, are painted. So number two, the Redwood. Ports and Kudo. You cool. Atomic Tires. 
the uh, Patriot beer. Never refuse a Patriot. Uh, Bank of Liberty. Strawberry Shotguns. The Lucky Plucker. Bitch Core Device. P's and Q's. Air Hurler. Bean Machine. Puppet on a Space Rangers. Jack Cranley. There's a lot of them. I, I'm 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 happy there are a lot of them. Big Locks. The Splint Tools. Globe Oil. The LTD. I kind of like the LTD. The LTD is kind of kind of nice. Logger Light. Clover up, or cover up paints, rain, <laughs> oh this is the, uh, this is the one to go viral, uh, that everybody's saying is the uh, GTA 6 uh, leak, and then the auto exotic, we use the networks, rigger shot, geez there's a lot, there's Frunk Extreme. And then back to the Raga Row. I kind of like the uh, 24. Where, where'd it go? And LTD. I kind of like the LTD one. It goes it goes well with the purple. I'm going to go with the LTD one. All right, uh, respay, we already did that. Sell suspension. We're going to slam that thing down to the ground. Transmission, all the way down. Turbo, max that out. Wheels, I'm going to leave the wheels because uh, I think the that NASCAR style wheel uh, is what needs to stay here. Windows, it's just the back window. Just kind of. And that is it. There are no other modifications for anything. So we'll go ahead and we'll exit out of here. Take this thing, drive it back out to the city here real quick. It is definitely a little bit more slidey. That is for sure. But let's go ahead and set our... Uh, set us a waypoint up north here jump back into the uh, cockpit view and we will uh, we'll see we'll see what the old speedometer says for our speed limits today oh yeah it as as normal uh, you spend that much money in there they, it seems to move it seems to accelerate a little faster oh my Jesus. we're already doing almost 130 on the the street It doesn't. It doesn't even want to stay connected to the road. There's 120 already, which was our. Well, I, we were like 120, 125 max on the way down, down here. But it's still fairly stable. It's still like I kind of give it a, a little bit of, a little bit of direction, and oh, hit somebody finally. I was just giving you compliments, truck, and you start ramming cars off the road. It, uh, for for what it is, it it feels extremely small, like trying to weave it through traffic. All right, look, I give you compliments, and then you hit cars. You're not helping me out, truck. <laughs> I'm. The problem is, is you start start getting a little bit too confident with it, and then uh, so it looks like the uh, still about 125. It looks like maybe 126, 127, maybe 128. But yeah, it's just it's it's kind of just 
chooting, chooching along there, just just doing well. Like I'm, I'm a fan of it. Uh, my plan is is to do this today uh, and probably do the hot ring saber tomorrow. Uh, just because I've, I've been trying to do a car a day, ish, uh, you know, for a couple of days, and then you know, as as things kind of, you know. It, it does get a little bit expensive buying all the cars, but, you know, whatever. I have fun making the videos and stuff like that, so. If uh, if y'all have a different car, different request, please let me know. But the plan for now is probably to do the Hot Ring Saber tomorrow, so that way this was kind of still fresh in my mind. Um, I'll play, probably drive this around for most of the day. And uh, once I kind of do that, that way I have a good feel for it, so that once I get to the Hot Ring Saber, I have a better... A better chance of understanding of kind of a comparison to them because as far as I'm concerned the two cars are sitting right inside of the thing next to each other like let's uh let's let's compare and contrast here but uh I'm impressed with it it's a it's a speedy little little ride it's not the fastest thing I've, I've driven but uh it is it's it's stable and it's controllable like, in first person, a lot of times, they get really twitchy. And this thing, like, is stuck to the ground. Like, as well it should be. It's a it's a stock car. Like, it, they're made to kind of... Oh! Not stuck to the ground when I do that. Look at that. I blew out the front window. Yeah, so if, if you if you really try to get it to slide, like if you start start doing start doing things that you really shouldn't do, bullying cars off the road. So yeah, if you if you rock it back and forth pretty good. But even all you do is just let off the accelerator for just a quick second. And it's just like, oh, okay. I'm going to gather back up real quick. I, I'm i kind of impressed. I don't know about the $3 million. I don't know if it was $3 million. It, it, was, it was expensive. Uh, I, I spent $2 million on, on cars already. Um, and uh, I, I bought two cars. And I think the Hot Ring Saber was like 500000 or something. I want to say this one was was closer to a million, but we have the technology. We can look, so we can go here and we can go to kind of great uh, super autos, hot ring. So it is uh, three point four two, or uh, one point eight million. Uh, so in order to get the trade price. Uh, you use place top three in 20 San Andreas Super Sports Series races to unlock the trade price. Uh, and I don't do a lot of racing, so that is what we, where we are. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this and are happy with the uh, with it. Uh, if you do have any requests for cars for me to kind of uh, do customization videos for, uh, please let me know. Even if it's an old car, even if it's... I, I, I don't care. Uh, I... I I, I really enjoy do, making the customization videos and, and checking out different vehicles and giving them a chance and just seeing what some of the customization is. Uh, so if you do have a, a request for a different vehicle, please let me know. Uh, and then I will probably be doing the Hot Ring Saber uh, this week and then probably the two supercars also. Uh, just because I like doing supercars. And if you know of any cars that have the, uh, the Yeti livery on them, uh, Please uh, throw those down in the comments, too. Uh, I have three of them so far. And I'm looking to fill up an entire garage full because I think that'd be hilarious. All right, with that, you guys be safe. And we'll talk to you all soon.